Yo, what's happening? We're going to go round two on this recording. Had a lot in there, and then my computer decided to freeze up when I was doing a screen share, and it was kind of a mess. So, first things first, next week, 21st, 9.45 a.m. Pacific time, 10.45 a.m. Mountain, 11.45 a.m. Central, and 12.45 a.m. Eastern. I will be speaking on the Confident Investor Conference. You want to, there's going to be a link at the very beginning of this email when you, you know, got the main email before you clicked on the video. There is that link. Click on that link. If you want, register. I'm going to go into not only the stuff I go into all the time, which is inflation and all that, but who benefits from the in interest rates being thought to be the most important piece. When you shop around, and it's like, man, where, I got to get the lowest rate, get the lowest rate, get the lowest rate. Who benefits from that? I'm going to show you some, some really, really interesting data, right? We're going to get deep in the weeds on that, and I want you to be able to see this, right? So Confident Investor Conference, look for the link. Go set yourself up on that. I'm speaking at 9.45 a.m. Pacific on the 21st. Um, so jump in there. I want you to be able to get that data and be able to work with that. So let's look at a couple other things here. This last week, I was in Miami and I got to, uh, I was actually emceeing this uh, end of slavery tour. So that's now the role that they have me doing. I'm the guy bringing people on stage. I got to uh, introduce Tim uh, and you and me park. Uh, bring people backstage for the v those VIPs. So if you're interested in uh, coming backstage, meeting Tim and you and me directly, um, be able to get a book signed by them, take some pictures, talk to them a little bit. We're going to be, look at these dates, you got to scroll down. It, it next is Salt Lake City on May 19th. And look if there's anything close to Chicago, Dallas, LA, and Phoenix. Phoenix is where I'm at here. We're going to end it here in Phoenix. May put another date, I don't know. But going to go in to, try and set yourself up to participate come out there and see us another thing that i want you guys to take a peek at here um they were going to ask you to do this while we're there but i'm going to ask you to do it now um why not right might as well might as well put things to work immediately because this problem ain't getting anything but bigger when it comes to human trafficking now this is a really crappy representation of this particular qr code but hold your phone up on this computer screen if you're in front of a computer um and, and get this right get that and it'll take you through this process seven days of posting these things up this this basically it's stats uh when it comes to human trafficking so i'm gonna hold this for a little bit longer so you guys can get that pause me right here and post this up on your your social media so i'm gonna be doing the same thing and posting posting that up for people to see because this problem requires that we get very very loud one of the things i found very very interesting was when you start to understand the price that was paid by you and me to bring us the, the information that she has brought us you will be amazingly surprised by what you find out about what she experienced in north korea and working her way back and then her interaction with other countries she's being canceled for talking about her experience how freaking insane is that Go to the Joe Rogan podcast and search her out. I find it interesting that shortly after that, that everybody starts trying to get rid of Joe Rogan. They're talking about all these other things, but they're not talking about that. That's the one thing they don't bring up. They don't want to bring attention to that particular podcast. What, listen to it. It's absolutely phenomenal what information she's saying here. And then come to the, the event. She'll give you even more. And we'll talk about more. They get very candid there. Uh, so it's going to be very, very interesting. Uh, to attend and I'm looking forward to everybody being there. Come see me, um, find, hunt me down, do the VIP pass thing, get to come backstage, hang out a little bit. Um, and then we get to chat a little bit about what you can do. First off, we get that damn QR code and work from there. So let's go into the markets. So mortgage bonds are, man, they're taking a beat. And I'm just gonna go straight over this and share you what's going on. You know, we shared all that ridiculous volatility last week, right here, just swing, 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 and then bam back back uh, to another floor. And why is that happening? Well, we got the producer, producer price indexes out, which measures the inflation on the wholesale level, right? What is the cost to produce goods and services? That went up nearly 1%. You know, that's looking back in February, you know, 0.8%. It was below the estimate they had a 0.9, but still, you know, it's ridiculous, right? Uh, in one month, we're seeing that type of, type of a jump. So so that, that right there, we're seeing um, continued insane increase in inflation of course and we're looking at I mean, come on fuel prices do what they're doing that's got that's going to cost that alone is going to push the cost to uh produce uh goods and goods extremely high so then what we're also looking at um 
the what else had done of course we got the ukraine conflict and all stuff that's having a, a uh, an effect on that but what a real interesting effect that's pushing things up and it's really going to push inflation and of course uh going to affect bonds and every other parts of the market is china shutting down the shenzhen region which was also kind of like their silicon valley there of china so a lot of things are produced out there you know for your iphones and our technology and your i'm sure your other you know joy products that right there is going to cause a massive problem with supply chain. That problem is going to bleed out to every, every other thing. So that has had the influence on this and has pushed this the market completely negative. Again, negative movement, you know, increase in interest rates. But not much we can do about this, guys. Look at look at how much we have seen over this window. Right, you go back uh, several months and we just, it's just fallen off the cliff and it's just been wild, wild movement. So that's something we're going to keep watching for and seeing how that, well, I don't know there's really much to watch for. Uh, just know that the interest rates are going to be offset by the rents because the rents have to go up. So what are we experiencing now? Well, we're seeing rents continuing to climb up, right? Now we're looking at year over rent increase from going to 12% to actually 12.6. So before we were talking about 10%, that was what I was seeing in the past. Now we're at 12.6. This is, this is, madness what we're experiencing here. Miami had the highest increases in the United States of 38.6% and Orlando at 19.9. Washington, D.C., from what we see is the lowest increase of 5.6. Hmm, interesting. Only 5.6% increase in Washington versus other parts of the country. And why is that? You wonder for yourself why it is that the place where a lot of the decisions are made um, that are associated with the inflation and the shit that we got going on in our world. And they just happen to a lot of those guys do rent. And it just so happens rent's only going up a little bit comparatively speaking to the rest of us. You know, so I think there is a little bit of a disparity, disparity, sorry, that was a weird word there, between what certain people experience in the world and what the rest of us get, right? Therefore, decisions are made as a result. And what do we get? Stupid freaking inflation, a lot of other dumb decisions that are impacting the rest of us. So it's kind of the synopsis of today, right? Interest, interest rates are continuing on the rise. Inflation is getting out of hand. Cost of, it, rents are going way up all over the place. It's squeezing everything, right? And um, supply chain is going to continue to get affected. What can we have affect change on, right? change what's going on in here change on your mind don't let all this stuff drive you crazy focus on what you have in front of you at any given time go to the beginning of the email click on the link to get involved with where i'm speaking at right confident investor conference also that qr code go backwards if you haven't done it yet and then go to endoslaverytour.com and register for that city near you grab one of those vip passes i'd love to meet you um and then introduce you to the folks that i'm out there with hope you guys make a point to get that done. And uh, I'll see you hopefully on Friday. I don't have any intention of not being there, but last week I had every intention to get this done and look at how things happen, right? I'll talk to you guys real soon.